The NOCO Genius Boost Ultra Safe Jump Starter is extremely safe and easy to use. If your car won't start, you hear clicking or the lights and the electronics flicker, that is a good sign your battery is too weak to start the engine. Boost can safely jumpstart your vehicle in seconds, and we'll show you how. There is a main power button that turns the unit on and off, and the power indicator will illuminate when the unit is on. The battery level indicator will display the current charge level of the internal battery and let you know how much power is remaining. The 12 volt out port is the connection used for jump starting, and the manual override button is an advanced tool only needed in very special situations. But more on that later. Getting started is easy. Simply plug in the clamps and you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about touching them together. They are perfectly safe and no power will be delivered until they are correctly connected to a battery. This is all monitored and controlled by Boost's internal processors. Note that Boost is only for use on 12 volt lead acid batteries, but that covers the vast majority of cars, boats, motorcycles, trucks, and other vehicles. Before jump starting your vehicle, make sure the AC, radio, lights, and other accessories that might be using power are turned off because these added loads will only make the vehicle harder to start. To jump start a vehicle, just hook up the clamps to the battery. The red clamp should be connected to the positive terminal and the black clamp to the negative. If you accidentally connect the clamps backwards, don't worry, nothing will happen and you'll just see the error indicator illuminate. All you have to do to fix it is switch the clamps around to the correct position. Once connected, press the power button to turn the unit on. The battery level indicators will chase and the boost LED will come on, indicating boost is delivering full power to the battery. Wait about 20 to 30 seconds, then start your vehicle. If it doesn't start on the first try, don't worry. Wait another 30 seconds to allow your battery to absorb more power and try again. You can do this as many times in a row as needed, but most vehicles will start on the first try. If the vehicle doesn't start, chances are there is another problem like a bad starter, loose cables, or non-battery related issue. Once the vehicle starts, simply disconnect the clamps and you're on your way. But don't forget to recharge Boost in between uses, so it is always ready to go. Boost has a USB in port that not only works with the included 12-volt USB charger, but also with any powered USB port, like a phone charger or a laptop. It takes around three hours to recharge Boost, but it's safe to leave it connected while charging, and it can hold its charge for over a year. Boost also has a built-in USB out port that can be used to recharge any USB-powered device, like a smartphone so you never have to worry about being broken down on the side of the road with a dead phone and no way to call for help. And it can safely recharge a smartphone up to four times. The dual ultra-bright LEDs built into Boost make for the perfect flashlight or emergency beacon. Press the light button multiple times to toggle through the different light modes. After a few seconds in any mode, simply push the button again to turn the light off. The manual override button is only meant to be used if the vehicle's battery is too low for Boost to detect. If you connect to the battery with Boost powered on, there are no errors indicated, the charge level indicators do not chase, and the Boost indicator does not come on solid. The battery is likely too low to be detected. It is important to note that manual override will disable most safety features, so you'll have to treat Boost like standard jumper cables and be careful not to touch the clamps together or hook them up backwards when using this mode. If you determine you are connected properly but need to enter into manual override, press and hold the manual override button for three seconds or until the battery level indicators begin to chase and the Boost indicator flashes. This indicates there is live power at the clamps and you are ready to jumpstart. We included this mode just in case you need it, but most likely you'll never have to use it. So we recommend ignoring manual override unless you know what you are doing. Finally, there is an additional error condition to be aware of. Boost is equipped with multiple internal thermal sensors that prevent the internal battery and its components from overheating and damaging Boost. In such a situation, the error LED will flash and the power output will be shut off. If this happens, let Boost cool off and rest. Keep it out of direct sunlight and move it to a place with cooler ambient temperatures. Boost will typically recover within a few minutes and automatically reset, ready for use again.
Although this is a rare condition, it can happen. The internal safety design prevents damage from occurring, but more importantly, keeps you safe. That is everything you need to know about using your NoCode Genius Boost Ultra Safe Jump Starter. We hope you never have a dead battery, but if you do, Boost will be there to save you. Learn more at GeniusChargers.com.